Good morning, boys and girls. We're excited you can join us this morning for church. We have an exciting time lined up for you. We're going to have a scripture reading, we're going to have some songs, and we're going to have a puppet show. So get ready. Let's open in prayer. Dear God, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for watching over us. We pray that you continue to guide us, take care of us, and help us to enjoy this time of worship. We thank you, God, and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, kids, let's go. Philippians 4.4 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Clap your hands, all ye people, shout to God. Woo! With the voice of triumph, clap your hands, all ye people, sing for joy. Unto the Lord And we're singing hallelujah 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 Jesus Christ is the Lord of all Lord of all the earth Jesus Christ is the Lord of all Lord of all the earth Jesus Christ is the Lord of all, Lord of all the earth. Jesus Christ is the Lord of all, Lord of all the earth. Clap your hands, all ye people, shout to God. Woo! With the voice of triumph, clap your hands, all ye people, sing for joy unto the Lord. And we're singing hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the Lord of all, Lord of all the earth. Jesus Christ is the Lord of all, Lord of all the earth. Jesus Christ is the Lord of all, Lord of all the earth. Good morning, boys and girls. This morning, our Bible hour lesson is going to be about Jesus Christ's ascension into heaven. And that's found in Acts 1, 1 through 11. In my former book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus began to do and to teach until the day he was taken up to heaven after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles he had chosen. After his suffering, he showed himself to these men and gave many convincing proofs that he was alive. He appeared to them over a period of 40 days and spoke about the kingdom of God. 
On one occasion, while he was eating with them, he gave them this command. Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift of my father. My father promised, which you have heard me speak about. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So when they met together, they asked him, Lord, are, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom of Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know the times or dates the Father has set by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. After he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and a cloud hid him from their sight. They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking into the sky? This same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. Thank you, boys and girls, for listening. Now, enjoy the puppet show. Hello, boys and girls. Thank you for joining us this morning. My name is Peter, and I'm going to show you, or a puppet show, about the ascension of Jesus. To help me do that this morning will be the disciple, Bob. Bob? Bob, where are you, Bob? Bob's a little shy. Come here, Bob. 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 Okay. We're going to tell you all about the ascension of Jesus. Did you know that Jesus was crucified by Pontius Pilate? That was not very nice. But he died for all of our sins. But Jesus told us that he was going to rise again. Oh, I'm sorry. My speech wasn't good enough for you, Bob. No, it wasn't. I meant to say he will rise again. And he did on the third day. And what we learn is that he showed himself. Do you know how many days he showed himself, Bob? Three. Uh, no, that's how long he was in the grave, Bob. Oh, okay. He showed himself for 40 days, showing people and his disciples how he was alive. He even showed himself on the road to a couple disciples. Were you there, Bob? I think so. Was Did it the you... road by McDonald's? Uh, no, Bob. There was no McDonald's then. I'm pretty sure there was McDonald's. Uh, no, Bob. Um, maybe you should just listen right now. Oh, okay. He showed himself to a couple disciples who were traveling. They were really sad because Jesus died. But when he said and showed himself to be Jesus, they were so excited. They had to go and tell others that Jesus was alive. And then, finally, when he was getting ready to go back into heaven, he gathered his disciples, his apostles, together and said, I'm getting ready to go back to my father. And you know what they got to witness, Bob? What? It was miraculous, Bob. Miraculous. They got to see Jesus ascend whoa, in to heaven. Can you believe that, Bob? No way, Peter. Absolutely. You see, that had to happen just as Jesus foretold. He is now sitting at the right hand of God. Oh, God is just so good. Don't you know that, Bob? Oh, yes, I do, Peter. I'm so glad that you do, Bob. Mm -hmm. You see, Jesus went into heaven, and he's there with God right now. Isn't that an amazing story, boys and girls? Yeah. Yeah. See, even Bob can understand that story. It's simple math, really. Really, very simple, Bob. But see... There were some people, like the Romans, who weren't very happy. They were pretty upset. But that's okay, because the disciples went telling people about Jesus all around the city. And then, do you know what happened then, Bob? Uh, 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 it, it's okay, Bob. Okay. You, you just listen. Oh, okay. 
They were telling people about Jesus all around the world. The world. You see, the church was established. That's you and me, boys and girls. And Paul, you know, our brother, Apostle Paul, he went traveling along with others all around the world, telling people about Jesus. You see, boys and girls, that's the gospel. The death, the burial, and the resurrection. Ah, oh, good job, Bob. I was afraid you weren't listening. I'm very proud of Bob. Oh, high five. Oh, okay. Um, headbutt. All right. Don't try that at home, boys and girls. We are professionals. Professional headbutters. Professional headbutters. Yes, Bob. We want to say thank you again for joining us. And remember, Jesus loves you. Right, Bob? Uh -huh. Okay, let's sing the song, Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me. Bob, you're not singing. I can't sing. Uh, are you sure, Bob? Yeah. But we're singing to God. Uh, oh, got you there, didn't I? <laughs> yes. Okay, ready, boys and girls? Jesus loves me, this I know. Hey. For the Bible tells me so. Uh -huh. Little ones to him belong. Uh -huh. They are weak, but he is strong. Let's go! Yes, <laughs> Jesus loves me. Yeah! Yes, Jesus loves me. Yeah! Yes, Jesus loves me. Yeah! The Bible tells me so. You all have been very good this morning. Thank you for watching. We can't wait to see you again in church soon. Bye-bye for now. Say goodbye, Bob. Bye, Bob. Oh, no, no, say goodbye to the kids, Bob. Oh, oh, bye, kids. Okay, we got to go now. Bye. Psalm 118.1 Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Thank you for joining us, kids. I hope you had an exciting and fun time learning about Jesus and his ascension. We hope you enjoyed the songs. We hope you enjoyed the puppet show. We look forward to seeing you all back in church. Remember, we love you, we miss you, and we're praying for you. See you soon. Bye.